Hello Witch Term Games and in this video we're going to create the third barrier and also we will make the spawner spawn all these barriers randomly. So yeah, let's get started. First you want to go to the obstacles folder and here you want to duplicate this barrier. So let's duplicate it. So it's barrier one. Let's actually rename it to barrier Okay, let's open it. And let's go to the viewport. Let's click the mesh. And here on the static mesh, we want to select some other mesh. Let's see what we have here. Actually, I think we will have to go down. So, uh -uh. Okay, so road work sign one, for example. Let's let's use that or road work sign two. Okay, let's use the two. Okay, now we will have to change the scale of x to two and y to one point seventy five and set to one point seventy five also. Okay, now what we want to do here, we want to click this dead collision. We want to actually make it the right size, so let's scale it like this, and maybe like that. Let's move it a little bit more like that. And now let's check that it doesn't go through to this side, because if we jump over and we touch this, and we will hit this collision, we will still die. So let's make it so it's on this side and actually, actually let's make it even uh, smaller like that now it looks pretty good so yeah okay that's working so let's compile and save and now we can close this so let's go to the blueprints folder and to the GM endless runner here we are on the spawn obstacles function what we want to do, we want to move this uh, further left, like this. Okay, it's good enough, I think. Actually, it's not. Oh, it is. Sorry about that. Now, we want to right click and we want to get the random integer in range. And yeah, let's make the minimum value 0 and max 2 for now. And now from the return value we want to switch on int this. So let's get to here. Let's add three pins here. So 0, 1 and 2. Okay. Now let's connect 0 to this one. Okay. Now let's duplicate all this code. So Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Let's move it to here, under, and then other time, like this. So now we have three of those. So now let's get the first one, oh, sorry, the number one to the second one. Let's add a rewrote to here. And now the third one to the number two. Let's add rewrote. So, now we want to change the mesh from the uh, add child actor component, so let's click the second one. And here on the barrier we want to set this to barrier 2, and on the third one we want to set it to slide barrier. So, uh, barrier, actually let's search for slide, slide barrier, like that. Okay, and later on we will make this much more advanced, we will actually change the way how this works completely uh, when we add some more advanced stuff and we want to add some logic to it so how how it spawns it but for now this will work so now if we press compile and save and we play we should see different kind of actors here on the map as you can see okay we have some glitches here but yeah 
as for now it's good so let's play again let's see if we get the all the third all all, all three different uh barriers and we are not getting them why okay we are getting them okay so yeah i think there, everything is working so yeah i think that was all for this video if you liked what you saw please click the like button and subscribe for more and yeah hope you have a great day and see you in the next one bye